Today's video will be about answering questions about the Mahdi. <clears throat> and my email doesn't work probably and I have so many emails and they don't show up. I can see that they arrived but they are empty. But those that did come through last night were all about concerns since the CBN News on YouTube uh, made a video about with the title Iran works to usher in an Islamic savior and that video caused a lot of emails coming to me. I studied Islamic philosophy not Islam like uh, these books that you need to read and I don't speak Arabic either. But I've been aware of the situation for long. I have friends that are Shia Muslims that uh, often come from Iran and I also have friends that are Sunni Muslims and their opinions are different. In my understanding of is that Shia Muslim that they believe that he is alive and he is about over 1000 years old and he has some supernatural qualities. And the Sunni Muslims, what I gathered is that he is flesh and bone and will be awakened and um, will be a human that will help to fight. And then also some names here since the discussion is Isa means Jesus. Muslims don't say Jesus. They usually, sometimes they spell it differently. And Dayal is the Antichrist in their words. And I hope I didn't misspell it too badly. And I try to find resources on YouTube since I don't know how to link. And I only linked four times in my whole life. As you probably know with my trying to link the Nokian book of supplication. So I found three videos that weren't banned in my country or blocked in the country that I think are worthwhile to see about the Mahdi. And one is the Daily Dean Reminder. Uh, a huge sign is the beginning of the title of that video. And the Muslim Odyssey is another channel. What is the fate of Israel and it's a short video and then there is a long video the people's profiles and the Mahdi and then go on and uh, the Daily Deem I liked and the Muslim Odyssey I liked that that sounded familiar to me from the people I know but as always I don't ever call anybody to be an antichrist and I read the comments under the CBN news and it was filled with fundamentalist comments and we can't think in that way, God knows everything and it's not up to us to judge or to question but I also believe that there is no cause for panic, there is nothing to be fearful of. After all, we are all striving together to work for God. And with the help of the angels, I don't doubt it. We will be told by the angels or by Christ himself or by the Holy Spirit that something is going on and we will be told. And then there is also that thing that Christ said in the Bible that it will come like a thief in the night. And he also said there be rumors about wars and that we shouldn't pay attention to them. And we are living in a time filled with rumors, fake news and so on. So I ask that you look at the documentaries with an open heart, seeing that there are good points and sometimes you don't like them. But instead of going out and thinking that this is the end or going into that fundamentalistical thinking, there it's better to pray to God and ask him to help you or the angels to help you there. 
And after all, we are all searching for God. We are all created by a creator, whatever faith we have. And, and fundamentalists, they are so keen on the letters in the Bible, but they hardly ever pray. They just keep copycatting everybody else what they said about how you must understand the Bible. And there is spirituality and prayer lacking many times. So, And sadly, many of the new channels, they take everything and make it against propaganda. And scaremongering is what the news do to get views. If we get uh, a news that, oh, there is a miracle in the world, that wouldn't come into the news. Instead, they put out titles that will scare people so they get more news. So I hope this helps you a little bit. I'm not an expert and I hope that in the comments, I know that we have uh, Muslims who knows about Islam too. And please... I don't know if you can link on my page since we have that blockage in this country, but I think it might be um, something that you can link in the pages, in the comments that you can put in a link, even if I can't access the link that others ma uh, might. So I welcome you to do so. And uh, if you have any thoughts, and everybody knows a lot more about the Mahdi than I do. There are so many scholars on my channel and I know they know what they are talking about. So, so I hope that you will also bring some light into this. And, and as always, look up to the skies, the heavens, the signs in the sky. Trust in God and his love and you have the angels to guide you. Be inspired. I love you all and have a magical, magical day.